Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. At issue is GSWA's latest finance plan recently approved by the court. The administration says, according to the federal consent decree that forced the closure of the old ORDOT dump, GSWA's top priority is to pay for operations, but the second should be to reimburse GovGuam for $11.9 million in Section 30 funds it fronts for debt service on the bonds that finance the dump closure. Calvo says the court was wrong to allow the receiver to continue to divert the reimbursement for other uses. Especially when an investment so important to the health and safety of the people of Guam that we must do all measures uh, to contain this judicial, judicial activism uh, by a federal court that is basically ordering folks to break contracts, break laws, and break the consent decree. Calvo was referring to another recent court decision to allow the federal receiver to defy a public auditor's ruling on the purchase of trash trucks. The governor also accuses Judge Gatewood of overstepping her bounds because the consent decree, he says, plainly holds that she cannot force compliance if it will cripple the government of Guam financially. Well, Calvo says it has and blames the court for helping to put Gov Guam in a $110 million budget deficit. Just on the areas ordered by the courts, Contrary to the bond contracts, uh, where we have not been reimbursed, you're looking between 40 and 45 million dollars. The governor says he is looking into administrative remedies to retrieve the 11.6 million he wants for the hospital or work with the attorney general to see if she can help. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.